Why hello. My name that I was given at birth is Dorothy Elvon Crowder. I married at 18 and it was more and I married again later on. You aren't getting any ages. <laughs> and that made it Guyton. Alright. The Levon is like little Wellum, except my grandmother didn't know anything about Welsh names. I was born in a house instead of a hospital, and when I was born, I was born blue. I come into the world fighting for breath, and she called me Little Vaughn, because you people that are into the awkward know that being born with a call over your face or a veil over your face, you know what that means. Well, anyway, Dorothy, Levon, but I prefer to be called Laverne. So what shall we talk about today? Okay, so let's talk about the hilltop first. We have a, a Somalian population, we have a African population, we have um, Honduras people here, we have people from Mexico here, of course we have the blacks here, and then the, uh, the, uh, um, the whites, the Caucasians. It's been very hard for a lot of people here on the hilltop. I have just found my niche because it's like this place just called to me. It's just, you know, just God made a way for me to, be to have this beautiful home out of no way. And so one thing about me, when I come to a neighborhood, I'm going to clear it out. I go and make friends with the people. I let the kids know I'm one of those people I will tell your mother. So don't be doing stuff around here. It's, it's good. Now, we've had several new families move in in the last five, six months, and it's been a upheaval, but I'm praying for it anyway, and it's just going to be fine. Here over on uh, the Wedgwood Apartments right around the corner, you know, outwardly it looks very good. People tell me that there's a lot of crime going on, but I, I haven't really seen a lot of that, you know, no more than any other neighborhood. It's very well kept around there, and the Somalians have been a blessing to the neighborhood, to tell you the truth, as opposed to any, any drawing back. The Mexican people that I've seen here, um, they're very hard-working people. Um, their property looks wet, looks good. When you see them in the stores, they're uh, well-mannered and well-dressed. So overall, I think life on the hilltop is um, going, flowing very well. And to tell you the truth, I tell even my family, who do not understand why I'm here on the west side, after all, all the blacks are on the east side, right? Or up north, right? They do not understand why I'm here. I told you, though, they, it called me here. But being this far west and even further west is the best kept secret in Columbus. People are more friendlier, I really do believe. It's this feeling of wide vistas. I love the idea of having open space around me. I cannot stand this closed-in claustrophobia, which explains why I got such a big house for one little old lady. So, the west side, I'm going to tell you, is the place for me. Just, it flowers something in me and engenders something in me. And, in terms of being an artistic person or uh, a thinking person when I have uh, room to think. And I think that's, that, that's something that's probably for anybody that would recognize that. Other than if any questions are asked of me, I think that's pretty much all I got to say about the wide vistas of the West Side. Maybe we'll get back to that.